Hello guys, Garcia here. This is part 11 of our Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines Clan Quest mod playthrough, playing as a Tremere. So we are going to do the, the quest that we were postponing here in the Lucky Star Motel. I think we have three quests here. First one we have the to get the uh, Masquerade Breaking script that this Sorry, guy no vacancies. Ha is writing with the Thin Blood in Santa Monica, I forgot his name. Writer's such a tarnished turn. Uh, what do we write? What kind of horror film are you working on? Do we have a copy of the script? Uh, you do, man. I really can't talk. All right. Okay, okay. He's guy calls himself Julius. Oh yeah, Julius. Yes, that's the name. So we got it. A guy like that, you certainly don't use uh, need to use disciplines on. He will eventually. Give you the answer you need just by virtue of never stop talking about something. Uh, I don't think this door is used in this version of the game. I think this door is used in the Anarch ending of, of the normal game, I think. In Clan Quest, I think they have another place. Oh, this is the key from the cafe. This is where the main quest continues, right? Uh, there is an item here somewhere. Um, here, bathroom under the bed. Oh yeah, yeah. There you go. Gold ring. Okay. Uh, what is this door here? Mm -hmm. Don't remember. Eight. So we have uh, without the armor that's giving us dexterity penalties. We have. Six plus one from blood buff. We have seven, and we are a three years, so I cannot raise my dexterity anymore. So I'm going to have to put points in. We actually can close security. The best we are going to get is basically nine with blood buff, right? But that's okay. They take this penalty because of thaumaturgy, right? To balance. Uh, I have no recollection of this room, to be honest. I didn't even know that there was a room with a, a laptop on it. Or in it. So let's see. Mm, no items, no windows, because... Bloodlines. Just this one. Let's see. Easter eggs. Ah, this is the one with the... The werewolf thing, right? Easter uh, eggs. Oh, I wrote wrong. Easter eggs. <laughs> if this was a typing game, I would be dead right now. Icons. Uh, hint. Uh, yeah, this is probably a hint for way later in the game, right? When we meet the, the werewolf. Completely forgot about this room, to be honest. Let's see if we have enough here, hopefully. We spent a lot of points on this. Um, oh, this is the room that has items on it. I think there's a wallet here somewhere. Yes. There you go. I'm remembering the stuff here. Uh, nothing. And this one, probably the serial killer. Oh my god! Yes. My work is done. There you go. Bye, Mike. So we got the card. Now we can finally finish the quest line. Uh, Brothers uh, Salvage. So we can go to Santa Monica if you want now. And I need to go there because of the quest, the uh, Hatter's quest, right? Hatter, Hatter's quest. <laughs> Hatter seems like I'm I'm talking about my goal. 
So okay, we need to talk to Julius on the beach and probably kill him because low humanity, so the game will force me to kill him, basically. And we also have to talk with uh, the guy in the salvage Where to? spot. Hopefully I have enough uh, persuasion to deal with him without having to fight. Might get some extra humanity points. The main problem with him is probably going to be uh, my humanity again. It's going to probably force me to choose to kill him. And to be honest, I never fought him ever. To be honest, I always solve this quest on persuasion. With persuasion, I meant. So let's see if it's possible. But the guy on the beach, I'm pretty sure there, there's no saving. My character probably will attack and kill him, which is a shame, but hey. In the final nights, some heads will go down anyway, so... Oh, this is the guy from the library quest. So probably after this quest, the guy will be... Uh, the quest will be available on the library. Oh, I have to be... Careful here. This is the part where the guy starts throwing stuff at me. Yeah. Okay, so we'll run away. Alright, be very careful here. Jesus. There's one with fire. Like an explosion, right? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh my god. That was actually pretty close. Oh yeah, this is the one. Uh, Alright. Can we dodge here? Yes. So now let's save to avoid having to kill the dude here. I think 8 persuasion is enough. And we have exactly 8, so I think we're good. But again, the humanity might be a problem here. No! Back off! My work. Why? Uh Murders, tell me what happened. No. Revenge. Uh, At least I. Mm. Keep it up and you'll answer for it. All you did was know the beast, the care the prize. <sighs> there you no. go. Oh, God, no! No! It's got to stop. I can't live I can't like this, yes. Like Oops. <laughs> I chose the wrong option. <laughs> yeah, so this guy is going to have to die here. I'm running around because I am re-equipping my stuff. See, that's why I don't like the cold. Because Against this type of foe, she's very slow. So let's just go with. Man. <laughs> it's been so long that I've, I've played this that uh, I've been choosing all kinds of wrong options here. Oh, I don't have any more shots. So let's just. Um, hmm, I have 94 Glock, so let's use that. Okay. Alright, so the defense is holding you up pretty well here. As I said, I don't fight this guy, so I didn't know he... Transform. 
There you go. Got a redemption, so that's good. Even though I don't need it. <laughs> Would rather have my humanity point, but hey. Too late now. Okay. So let's just hide this away. Or put this away. Ah, we actually got the humanity point, so... So it was actually... Pretty fine. So let's... Uh, I hoped that I hoped uh, when I was playing the first few times that there was a way to involve the the Malkavian uh, quote unquote twins again in the story. I think in this mod you can diabolize them. If you remember in the clan class we did for the three mirror, we have the option I think to diabolize a few people. I don't know if she's part of it. I think not. But I think this mod is possible to diabolize a few people. But the process is kind of so complicated that and requires very specific amounts of skill points that I usually avoid it. I don't think I'll be able to not kill this guy here because of my humanity. So we are going to lose the hum humanity point probably again here. What? 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 You Julius. <laughs> There you go. So there's no way to save him. So, damn it. I'm going to use Oscar just to see him. It's so dark. So down he goes. Oh, didn't didn't lose a humanity point. That's good. It's okay. So another quest down. What I like about Hollywood is that most of the quests and side quests are very easy to to do. The ones in downtown are slightly longer and more complicated. <laughs> and I'm talking that uh, all about it, it being easier, but eventually we'll have to go through the Nosferatu warrants, and that place is a fucking hellhole. Um, let's feed here real quick. Not today. I'm trying, but there, there's a dude in my face here. We are going to have to go through the entire warrens in this playthrough because we have the CDC quest. Uh, let me show you guys here. This here. Wasn't the well to do. So we are going to have to put some poison in a few specific places in the source. So I can't skip. Oh, that's okay. What time is it? At least with this quest, the, there's a more of a reason to do the entire warrant. Mm, I don't know if my PC is here. I was thinking about checking it out to get the library quest, but probably easier to do that in downtown anyway. Need a ride. And I'm just going to do the quest after I do, I've done everything that I have to do in in Hollywood before I, I need to go to the Warrens. I usually do this quest in, in bulk just to for uh, right, practicality. Mm, this is another spot that I wished was used in, in the game. A guy selling coffins and stuff. The World War II mod, the... I forgot the name of the mod now, but the overhaul mod for this game has a character that works in like a funeral home, but not in this version. Uh, let's save here just to 
not choose the wrong options here. La Cuse couldn't stay. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks. Are they? It must have. Yeah. There you go. Completed her quests. The game starts with, with you uh, almost being killed by Lacroix and his goons because of vampiric laws and the masquerade and all that stuff. But uh, the best part about the, that whole thing is that basically most of the quest givers are there, and you are just you are going to meet most of them later or all of them later, right? But you don't know that yet. So we are going to do the the cafe or oh, cafe, <laughs> the ground zero quest here. So this one is, there's a lot of fighting. So let me see what I got here. I don't have that many shots. Zero shots. Mm. I have to go with the Glock here. Hopefully I don't spend all the shots here. Oops. Wrong button. Let me make sure that I have everything equipped here. So let's use aspects. So down he goes. And Makes this display so confusing, so much stuff to look at. Yeah, kind of tough to hit because you have to hit them on a specific spot. Fighting these guys remember me of remembers me of uh, Dead Space. You have to like shoot the limbs. I don't remember if there's items here. Just taking a quick look. Just to see if there's something. I don't think so. So let's go. I remember that there's one in the bathroom here. Yes. That's all I remember. Kawaii zebra here. I don't want to imagine what they were trying to do in this place. Just keep moving. Uh, oh, another bottle. All right. Okay. So this is how it's gonna die. Bye, dude. Oh. Right, that was pretty good. Alright, so. Go. All right. Kind of a torture chamber here. And this guy's gonna die, I think. Oh Jesus, man! What? Yeah, 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 yeah. I... So... Mm. Please, please. So down he goes. Why this happens? Every time this happens, right? The cutscene switches the way. Damn it. I completely forgot. Uh, that's so annoying. I did not need to take this aggravated damage right now. But luckily the, the combat is pretty much over here. Okay, uh, tape. I don't think there is anything else here. So I think we're good. Oh, it opens the other side. Hmm, 
I don't want to use all specs again here. I'll have to. I'm stuck. <sighs> that was annoying. Oh, there's another one. Oh, come on, gun. Alright. That, that last part was kind of bad, but there we go. So let's put this away. Alright, so we got the tape. I think this is the part where uh, our buddy here, Mr. Abrams, gives us the the quest to go to the mansion, the Shimisi mansion. I think we can feed here, no problem. I'm going to need another one pretty soon. So let's watch the full tape with Mr. Abrams here. Any luck? Then this is no doubt the work of a fiend. Hand me the tape. There might be something on it that will give us some insight into what its motives are. There she is. <laughs> I don't know if this door is supposed to open, but <laughs> it's so funny when this this kind of silly bugs happen in this game. When you like the game, the bugs become like more of an endearing trait that the game has inherently instead of being a problem. Down she goes. The house in the tape. I know it. King's it's in the way. hills. King's way if I'm well, it's unfortunate that the I can have a car and drop you off on your If I may give you one That's for you. You head to King's Way. Certainly. Nesferatu, mm, Velvet. In your life. Okay. Certainly. I'll come back later. Always avoiding to talk about uh, anything related to straws and the gargoyle and stuff. Just check it to see if there's something else. I actually don't remember, to be honest. So. Uh, going the King's Way. The way of kings. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. So I need to go back to my PC. Uh, this is not. Uh, this is far away. This is far away. This is far away. Uh, this is the one that will stay forever because of the coin class mod. So don't bother with this one. So I think we've done everything here. These two quests are the VV quests. Uh, Pimping for Romero and. One died, is it? So these two are the Romero quests. This is the Ash quest. This is the Red Spot quest. This is the, the Gargoyle quest. Uh, this is the main quest. Also main quest, cafe. I think we're done here. Can just straight up go to Kingsway. But we, since we are playing clan quest, we have a few extra quests. I'm going to take a chance on this guy here. So, we are going back to downtown. I need to check my PC. And I think this is the point on the game that we have to talk to Heather to tell her to stay inside. Because she has been seeing some... She has been feeling like she has been followed or something like that. Hop in. So I have to tell her to not leave because if not she's going to be killed in the 
the Hollowbrook uh, Hotel quest. Or Hollowbrook, I don't remember how to pronounce it. Um, <laughs> I forgot that the Haven is this side. We are using the Tremere Haven here. I don't think I need to go to the last round for any reason other than lore. If I want to hear a uh, good old Jack telling some stories about a bunch of topics. So let's see here. Okay. Hatter. Let's save here just to get the right dialogue. So I can save her. Master? It's you. Oh, you were followed, it wasn't me. Mm. Want you dead? Jealousy, just be careful. Somebody uh, shoot them. Had her promise to stay indoors. That's it. Promise to stay indoors until this is over. I will. There you go. Alright. So there you go. Problem basically solved. Uh, I'm going to put some things here. Uh, the driver's license. Uh, the photo. What else? I cannot remove this at all. Okay. Mm, Bottle salvage. I'm not going to do this anymore. The Tomatoko creatures. Appointment book. This is from the Jezebel quest, I think. Eight. So we're good. If we need it, it's almost completely full. I have to sell some weapons to get another one too. Alright. So we have another email here. One last job. Uh, full syndicate. Yes, this quest is the last quest for from the Kindred for hire. Yes. Tongue leader in Chinatown. So I'm still not getting the library quest for some reason. I don't know why. Hmm. Let me think. Maybe it's after Kingsway? Maybe. To be honest, I'm actually not sure. I'm pretty sure this, this quest is in this mod. But we can do it later. Going somewhere. Uh, so Kingsway. Let me just uh, check real quick here. Eleven experience. So what should we do here? Mm, yeah, let's put on perception. I, I've been. What about stamina though? I actually think the firepower is fine for now. Yeah, I'm going to put one in stamina just to protect myself a little bit more. Maybe we need blood packs for this fight. I am not sure. Just maybe. Mm. I'm going to save here. And we are going to try it without and see if it's okay. Hey guys, uh, Garcia from the future here. I just went to the Kingsway and I was reassessing my inventory and I noticed that I basically have no bullets of any kind. So I decided to load here and just go back. <laughs> These TVs appearing on the map are basically the, the, the sign that you have been playing for too long, the game starts switching objects around. It's a bug, a well known one. My man! So let's just restock here. Let's just sell some weapons here first that I'm not going to use. Um, I'm just keeping this four. I'm just selling everything that's not a fire axe. I'm going to sell this stuff later, I don't think I need to do this right now. So. Let's just basically buy everything here. We are pretty good on money here. 
the the money on this game is all over the place because you either doesn't don't have enough to what you want or you have way too much there's no middle ground if you did all the quests and follow uh, the game as it's supposed to go you you will always have enough money to buy everything and even buy extra uh, some extra blood packs where to so okay so we are finally uh, ready so uh, this quest can be sectioned off so you can do the two parts separately so we go meet the Shimisi and this is the clan quest mod uh, remember that so there's this, the Sabbat chapter but we are not going to become Sabbat or to become members of the Sabbat so we have the fight with him and after we scare him off we are able to leave so we are going to leave talk to Abrams and get the reward for uh, scaring the Shimisi away then we are going to go back and we have we are going to have to do the entire Nosferatu Warrens because we have the CDC quest so if you've never seen the CDC quest before we are going to, to do it in its entirety on the next episode but uh, we are going to finish this episode right here guys so thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one take care guys